Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm just going to take you back to uh, Vault 88 and uh, talk about the new trade counters. There's one of them right there, level 3, General Trader. Um, th my General Trader used to be one of those old wooden ones and it was right here. I switched it with the security area, but the security there and this General Trader here. Um, undecided exactly if this is where it's going to stay. Uh, I can't really decide on what I want to do as far as its permanent location. But for now, that's where it's at. Uh, the other one that I used was for the bar. I put a few things in there. Um, as you, you'll notice, I'll show you a few things I've discovered with these. I'm sure maybe if, uh, some of you have already discovered it as well. But uh, go into my menu here. I'll grab this mac and cheese. And I'll show you as I'm going to put it inside the display case there. Just flip it around so it's standing up. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's like an invisible piece of glass, or you just assume that there's a glass on the front of this display case. Um, so you cannot put things in from this side. Um, coming around the back here, uh, another thing you also got to be careful with is how far in the display case you put it. See if you go too far forward and go to set it down. As you can see, it's going right through. It doesn't sit on the shelf going that far. I imagine because of the angle, because there's supposed to be this pretend piece of glass there or whatever. So instead, you got to keep it towards the back end, kind of towards the middle and to the back. And right there, and it sits there and all fine. Some people complain, but not me. And it Just all looks good there. Here. One thing I have noticed about the display cases, huh? though, and I'll go to my top one to show you easier, that even though that there is this supposedly invisible piece of glass there that doesn't let you load things from the front, there isn't really. And you can still walk into it and knock everything off, as you can see right here. I was hoping the fact that there is this invisible barrier here that you wouldn't be able to knock things off as easy. But as you can see, you're still able to knock everything right off onto the floor if you're not careful. So just keep that in mind when you're putting these up. Um, it probably won't be as big of an issue with the regular, like the level one and level two trader that's only got the storage right here behind um, because it's only the character that goes there. And if you set it back far enough, I have yet to have any of the vendors knock anything off the shelf. Uh, but as you can see, coming from the front side, if you bump into the counter, and when you get lots of settlers, they're always bumping into everything, they can end up knocking the stuff right off your display case. And, you know, when you're on the PS4, you're not working with any kinds of... Uh, mods when it comes to placing objects um you kind of want to make you don't want them being knocked onto the floor all the time it gets to be a pain in the ass having to pick everything up and put it on the shelf again just quickly put this radix on there too Stim pack still on the floor here. Better pick that up. Put that back up on there. So yeah, you don't want to have to be doing this every time, so just keep it in mind. Oh, knocked it forward. I had to go and touch things. 
I'll fix it after. But uh, yeah, that's just what I want to show you there with those that you do have to be careful because you will end up knocking everything off the shelves uh, if you're getting too close. And if you bring the object too close to the front, as you've seen with the stim pack here, it slid forward and fell down to the bottom shelf. You got to be careful on how forward you go. Um, and that's pretty it, much it as far as those counters go. Um, I do like the fact that uh, we do now have them. They look a heck of a lot better than those wooden uh, vendor stands. They're good for, you know, some of the other outdoor settlements and stuff like that, but they just didn't fit with this at all. Um, now to talk about a few other projects that I, or things that I'm going to be working on, some videos. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way already. Um, one video that I'm working on going to be is uh, the storage area. As you can see, it's a fairly big storage area. Um, I ended up stacking all of these and I will show you exactly how I stack these since you can't stack them on top of each other just by themselves they'll fall f fall through they don't uh, snap together or sit on top or anything like that it just passes right through glitches right through so I'll show you how I did that um, other things uh, once uh, Nuka World comes out um, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing some more uh, videos involving that, especially if there's any of the new settlement items and decorations and stuff like that. I'll be going through any of that kind of stuff that we're able to use. Uh, whether there's some stuff right away that you're able to use, or if you have to finish, say, the main quest before you get those settlement items, I'll go through all of that. Um, now that we do have these counters, I am going to... Um, finish off Abernathy Farm. I don't know if, if those of you who haven't seen that video yet, you can go look on the, my channel there and I have a, an Abernathy build I've been working on, a, a big build. Uh, the next video for that will be using these counters in a weapons and armor store, a fair size store. Um, I have a Finch Farm finish off build that I want to do. I haven't shown anybody anything I've done in Finch Farms, but uh, I've seen some videos from uh, No Respawn and Oxhorn, and I was, they gave me some ideas of how to finish it off. Because uh, there is certain areas that are real pain in the butt to, to uh, build on, but uh, they gave me an idea of where to go next with it. So I'll be doing a video with that as well. Um, uh, my old, I have an Overland Station build that I've also been working on that uh, I'll be doing a video on that as well. Uh, there will be, there is a bunch of other projects, like say they got a f bunch of other settlements uh, that I wanna do a whole bunch of stuff with. Now that we're getting more of this, um, like say once Nuka World comes out, the more of the items, build items that we end up with, the more I'll be investing in some uh, hopefully bigger builds and more videos and stuff like that. As you can see, this used to be the storage in one of my last videos when we did the security vault. Uh, I put this storage downstairs and up here is going to be something else. Not a hundred percent sure exactly what I'm going to do. I may put that is one of the trader stores or something. If you have any uh, suggestions, please uh, leave something in the comments. I'm more than happy to uh, see what you guys had in mind. Uh, yeah, that was after we had done this security area here. But yeah, that's just an overview of the things that are coming up. I'm going to try to get... Uh, I think the, nec the next video is going to be a more in depth on that storage area. I'm going to show you how I stack things and how I'm going to end up laying it out in, in, in that area there. Uh, from there, it'll be Finch Farm followed from there and then so on. So yeah, thanks for joining me. And uh, if you're interested in those other videos, please subscribe. If, if you happen to like this video, give it a like and I'll see you next time. Thank you.